Shweta here from How to Electronics. This is a TM16374 digit 7 segment LED display. These displays are cheaper and best for displaying sensor data, time, stopwatch, random numbers, etc. It is similar to other 4 digit 7 segment displays but has a TM1637 LED driver I see embedded in it. This removes the extra wiring and using only two wires the display can be controlled. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the TM16374 digit 7 segment LED display with Arduino. In the first example, we will look at the basic functions of the TM1637 display library and display some random numbers and letters. In the second example, we will use TM1637 with Arduino to create a simple temperature display in combination with DST11. In the third example, we will use the TS3231 real time clock module to display the time on TM1637 display. So let's begin with this awesome tutorial. This video is sponsored by Ultium. The Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle. Tune for the delay, push, slide, and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, you can click on the first link in the description. The bare 4 digit 7 segment displays usually require 12 connection pins, but the TM1637 IC is mounted on the back of the display module, which reduces the total wire to 4. Two pins are required for the power connections and the other two pins are used to control the segments. The TM1637 module includes 4 0.36 segment, 7 segment displays. The module has a colon at the center used to create clock or time-based project. The TM1637 supports many functions, including on-off and brightness control of the LEDs as well as to each of these segments. There is a 4-pin mail header on the module for making connections, which are VCC, GND, DIO, and CLK. At the back of the display, there is an inexpensive serial LED driver from Titan Microelectronics called TM1637. The model operates between 3.3V to 5V with a current consumption of 80MA. Here is a pin map of TM1637 IC. We can interface uh, TM1637 with Arduino or any other microcontroller using the two data pins only. There is multiple TM1637 library for Arduino that removes the complexities and makes it easier to communicate with the display. Out of all those libraries, the library from Avishe or Paz is the most popular one. You can get this library from the library manager or simply go to the GitHub link and download the zip file for this library. This library has several built-in functions that makes controlling the display simple. We need to specify which number to display and which it will handle. Now let us go through the basic example. Make a connection between Arduino and TM1637 display as shown in the image. We will use digital pin 2 and 3 to control the display. Here is a breadboard assembly for the project. I prefer breadboard for connection. Let's move to the code part. The code starts with including the library for TM1637 and Arduino. Next, we need to specify the connection pins for CLK and DIO. This is the amount of time in milliseconds between every new test. You can create arrays to spell words. 
Each segment is separated by a line and the digits of the display are separated by a comma. Then we need to create a new instance of the TM1637 display class with the function TM1637 display. There is nothing in the setup section. In the loop function we define two options. The first option is to set individual segment is to use hexadecimal numbers. Hexadecimal 0 cross ff turn all segment on while 0 cross 00, 00 will turn off all segments. This line will set the brightness which is from 0 to 7. These lines will selectively set different digits. This will clear the LED display. This function can be used to set individual segment of a display. The remaining code is for setting the display to display some more particular digits. So after uploading the code, the LED display will start displaying some random numbers or digit as shown here. You can program this TM1637 display to display anything that you like. In the second example, we will make a digital thermometer. For this, we can use a DST2 tool also known as AM2302 temperature and humidity sensor. We can even use a DST11 sensor sensor. Here is an interfacing diagram. Just connect the digital pin of the sensor to D5 of Arduino. I again used the breadboard to assemble the circuit. In case if you don't like it, you can use your own custom PCB for the project. Here is the complete code. In this code, I used the DST library. The rest of the things are similar to the previous code and have been modified according to the DST22 requirement. So after uploading the code, the TM1637 will display the room temperature. It will display it as degree Celsius and also in Fahrenheit format. You can further modify the code to display the humidity in percentage. We can use the TM1637 display and DS3231 RTC module with Arduino to create a real-time clock as well. Here is a connection diagram for our project. The DS3231 is connected to the I2C pin of Arduino. Again, I used the breadboard to assemble the circuit. The circuit is simple to use and assemble. So after uploading the code, the TM1637 will display the current time immediately. The time displayed will be in hours and minute format. This is how you can design your clock. All the circuits, libraries, codes and complete information of the project can be found in How to Electronics website article. You can go through the minute details and every information. I hope you like this tutorial video. Thank you for watching.